what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so we're going to talk about scream 7 in this video here today we're going to be going over some speculation on things some rumors things that are not confirmed they're not official getting that out of the way up top we need to talk about this nev campbell thing that a few of you have sent my way and i will share my thoughts on what i think this could mean based on stuff i've heard and stuff that nev herself has already stated to sean clark so nev campbell is going to be appearing at galaxy con in raleigh on july 25th through the 28th of 2024 so a few of you have sent this to me going wouldn't this impact filming not necessarily and i mean not necessarily going off of nev's assumptions to sean clark she again she never said this was confirmed but she seems to have, have this understanding or thought process that filming could start in the fall for whatever reason i don't know if she's actually heard anything about that or if that was just her going off of a or making a prediction based off of where things are right now creatively and what they're doing because we know according to daniel rpk that they are casting but if they were to start shooting in the fall this should not matter her making appearances in july shouldn't matter however i've also heard more times than than i, I can even remember at this point that they're not shooting in the fall they're going to shoot in the summer daniel himself has also reported this as well what i specifically have heard recently a few times is that it will be a eight week shoot that could start during the week of june 1st and last up until sometime in july now if you have an eight week shoot if they're able to start during that first week of june or the first week of when june 1st would hit there is no reason why that should conflict with nev campbell's appearances in fact i'm now speculating if maybe that is indeed what they are going to do not not that they're, they're just aiming for but they're going to commit to that because committing to it would allow her to leave leave the set obviously make it in time for these late july appearances and maybe that's why they're going to start shooting in early june if they can make that date because of the fact they're going to accommodate all the other things nev has commitments to in july and, and beyond that with these conventions and these appearances she has going on so eight week shoot is what i've heard that's not confirmed but if it starts in the first week of june or if it starts in the week that june 1st happens there is no reason why it should conflict with nev's commitments to these conventions in fact keep in mind a lot of times they shoot movies out of order so all of her all of her scenes could be shot and she could leave set before anyone else jamie lee curtis just did that recently with halloween ends i think she did it with halloween kills i think she might have done it with halloween 2018 i might be mistaken but i know she did it with halloween ends and a lot of people are like oh that means she's dying no it doesn't mean that they're dying they just often more times than not are shooting these movies out of order and it works in a case for someone like nev campbell who has commitments to other projects that's all there is to it just because she leaves set early doesn't mean she's gonna die nine times out of ten sydney prescott isn't going to die anyway because she's the greatest final girl to have ever existed in my opinion you can argue with the wall now in terms of other things i've heard that are alleged and just rumored not confirmed not official filming in canada is a possibility again they could be going back to canada for whatever reason obviously i think it might be for the tax incentives more than anything and here's a character rumor i've heard there may be a nanny role that we see in scream 7 now this nanny role obviously would have to lend itself to a character like sydney prescott because she has kids and obviously the safe assumption would be that the nanny is going to be the opening kill but then that also begs the question who would your opening kill be you know they have well yeah they, they've done it no they haven't done it because samara weaving wasn't really in anything major at the time i i would like to think that scream 7 is going to pull in a pull in an actress who's in a very popular show that's ongoing on a major premium network that's what my bold prediction will be as far as like who would be the star in the opening sequence they're going to probably try to go for someone who's in a very popular show and is currently active on said show and said show is going to premiere sometime in the spring that's just a prediction i'm making so that's who i could see them going for in relation to an opening sequence person if you want to go back to the popular popular actress at the time even though granted 
Samar Weaving again was a popular actress. She just didn't have anything going on at the time of when Scream 6 dropped. She wasn't in anything very popular at the time. She was just a very popular actress. I could see them placing someone in the opening of Scream 7 as Sydney's nanny, who's in a very popular ongoing show on a premium network. Just throwing that out there. And also, I've heard that the opening sequence would be the last thing that they shoot. That's what I've just heard, not confirmed. This all goes back to them trying to possibly make amends for the fact that Scream 5 was shot in order from start to finish. They literally had Jenna Ortega's opening sequence filmed first, and then it just went through in order. That's how everyone was able to connect the dots, knowing that, oh, okay, Dewey must be dead. This person must be dead. Oh, wait, Jenna's still here? That means she survived the opening. That's how a lot of the surprises that Scream 5 wanted to have in store for some of us fans was already known by a lot of us because we monitored how the filming was going. We were on social media creeping and lurking, doing things that the common folk is not doing. So that's why those surprises were still surprises to them. But when we sat down and watched it, it was just putting the final pieces of the puzzle together and seeing how it all was executed on screen. But those is, th those were the rumors I wanted to talk about and mostly just address Nev Campbell's commitments to this Galaxy Con convention that seems to be causing some concern for some of you who have reached out to me i don't think there's reason for concern obviously they're going to work with her schedule i think this does lend itself to what i've heard about them wanting to do a eight week shoot that starts in june though because if it starts in june and it's for eight weeks if she has to be somewhere in raleigh north carolina july 25th an eight week shoot starting in june would obviously allow her to be able to finish that then go to raleigh and do her commitments there nothing to worry about or they can start filming in the fall bottom line is you're gonna have scream seven sooner rather than later at some point whether we like it or not uh you guys can let me know what you think about all of this down in the comment section below what do you think about those other rumored details about them possibly going to canada again about us having a nanny role i've also heard something about a brother role being cast I don't know whose brother this would be, but again, all of these are just rumored bits that I've heard. I just wanted to talk about them with you guys and mostly speculate on what this Riley thing could mean for Nev Campbell. It's nothing to really fret over at all. She's obviously going to make this work within her schedule and the project will be fine. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all of my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.